Hello, watch my channel. I'm Arthur Sosa, and today I'm going to be giving my comments, opinions, and the results of WWE205 Live, 10th of January 2017. We kick off the show with Cedric Alexander with Alicia Fox versus Noam Dar, the final match in their series, I believe. The finish happened. Alexander goes for a moonsault, but Alicia pulls Dar out of the way. She does not know what she just did. No, with the running in to go for the three count. It was a great match. It went for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, both guys were absolutely incredible, and this is what a cruiserweight match should be. I loved every second of it. After the match, Noel goes for some loving from Alicia, but Alicia slaps Dar. Great again. Then we take a look at Tozawa. Uh, Kalisha says it's like being in a car crash. He will suplex you without you knowing. You do not know what to expect. His light turned on and he turned into a beast or a dragon. Kalisha says to sit back and enjoy the ride because Tozawa will take you for a ride. It was a good promo package to be fair. Nice to see him when he arrives. Brian Kendrick goes to the ring and then says he's lucky he's not Brian. He calls Tajiri a sneaky snake and a sneaky sneak. Next time he sees Tajiri, he will choke on his mist. He said that Sean Malta pedigree is second to none. If Tajiri can beat you, then Sean will be lucky to last 30 seconds with D. Brian Kendrick. Then them to have a match. Kendrick made him tap out with the captain's hook. It was an alright match to be fair. Alright promo from Brian Kendrick as well. I enjoyed it. It was good cruiserweight stuff. Then we go to Cedric Alexander and Alicia Fox in the locker room. Cedric said it was not an accident. He wants to know why she did what she did. He said they are done. Alicia can have that pervert now under Dar and slap him around all you want. Cedric said they deserve each other, and then Alicia Fox absolutely, completely flips out, saying nobody dumps Alicia Fox. It was great, actually. To be fair, I enjoyed that segment. Gallagher and his umbrella make their way to the ring. Devari comes out for the parlay. Jack asks Devari to have a seat, and he offers him some snacks. Devari says he is here for the parlay to get this done. Jack says they have been playing silly buggers for too long. He said this needs to come to an end. He said that Devari has dismerged his honour and he is at loss for words. Devari said he's not a gentleman. He did not come here to be a gentleman. People who fight properly and politely get stomped on by people like him. People like him do anything to win. You call for this to admit that you surrender. Jack said that you come here for a resolution and he never said it would be peaceful. He called Tavari a scoundrel and said, by I just mentioned this on her, this will not stand. Tavari says that he has been humiliated because he has a family name. He will not rest until Jack is a pasty white smear on the bottom of his boot. Jack tells Tavari to sign the contract because he's already inked his name. Tavari asks what is a forfeit match. He says like an I quit match. The match ends when your opponent says I forfeit. This not only ends the match but ends a quarrel. You have to live with the result. Devari sa says it will be his pleasure to make Jack scream out of forfeit. Uh, Devari sounds a contract and throws away William the Umbrella. Jack moves his jacket, takes off his tie. Devari takes off his headdress. Jack says he hopes the Queen is not watching and pushes the table over and takes Devari down. Devari punches Gallagher and then officials come down to the ring while Gallagher connects with forearms. Officials tried to separate it, but it didn't work, so Devari attacked Gallagher again. It was great, to be fair. I did enjoy it. Gallagher's antics are always entertaining. Then we go to our main event, Rich Swan versus Tony Nese in a non-title match. Swan with a punch and a spinning back heel kick to get the three count. Usual stuff, to be fair. It was really good. After the match, Rich Swan said that there is a man who resembles a gargoyle. Call him himself the king of the cruiserweights Rich said he is the cruiserweight champion so 205 live is his Gallagher comes out and he says that with the beatings he has been dishing out he would beg to differ ever since he has been put on this division 205 live has been his show Spawn says he did not hear Neville some people don't have ears like Dumbo like you do if you want you can come into the ring and get dealt with like he did on Raw Neville said that he's a typical arrogant American throwing your insecurities at him he will not set foot in the ring until he is given or well, he is out a cruiserweight title match. Swan tells Neville to name the time and the place because Neville will find out that Neville cannot handle it. Neville says his gargation will take place on the biggest stage at the Royal Rumble. So there's another match confirmed. And it was a great promo from both guys. Alright match. And it was an alright 205 Live to be fair. It was just cruiserweight action and I love Jack Gallagher. The no, I'm Dar 
Cedric Alexander feud amazing. Rich one's great. And then it's just all good to be fair. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you later.